fogging up but good morning we're in dominican republic today punta cana i'm staying at the la roma the hilton la roma um the all-inclusive this is really fogging up but i just wanted to still say hey with a pretty view we have a garden view of our room with the pool i'm about to go to my friend this is really get out of here I'm about to go to my friend's a bridal brunch. I'm wearing this dress. This dress here. I thrifted it. I thrifted it in Mexico. It was like $11. 11 um, American dollars. Girl. Yeah, the dress was like 11 American dollars. So, just me and the view in the yard. Just want to say good morning. I got these earrings from Target. Just head out and talk a little bit more when I get back. Look how pretty this walk is. Gorgeous. Oh my god, my camera. Again. Girl, girl, this time this is my phone. Regardless. Very pretty. I think that this whole vlog is gonna be very much this type of quality, and I'm so sorry in advance. Super, super, super um what's the word I'm looking for? Humid. So yeah. Oh, look at the lobby. Hold up, look. start getting ready right now for the boat um i didn't end up going to the beach or anything as you saw it was pouring like, actually you didn't even see that it was pouring you saw that it was drizzling but it started like downing out of nowhere literally got crazy so no water activities happened today hopefully later this evening i'll be able to hit the beach or the pool or something but um yeah about to do a quick refresher of the the face the everything and change the dress so I'll see you in a little bit. This Rihanna Fenty stuff has been saving me because it's so humid here. And I put on a little bit of the e.l.f. blush and then I'm gonna put this one on. This is the Sephora Colorful Blush and the color Fascinated. But look how pretty. It matches the little orange vibe I got going on. Everybody back here in an orange and blue. Orange looks so good on black girls. Like I said, actually every color looks good on black girls, but definitely orange. So not the thunder, but yeah, we're about to go on a sunset um boat cruise. Hopefully the sun comes out and the thunder goes away and it doesn't start like pouring like it just was. But yeah, this is the fit. From Amazon. Here is our boat. my hair and twist under this to match you know the clip-ins and stuff so my leave out's not left out later but yeah <sighs> buenos dias <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
little bit. If you're not able to like receive trauma dumping right now, I'll put like the um, time to skip to right here. But if you are able to receive just trauma dumping and part of my human experience, stick around. Yesterday when we were on the boat, a song played and it just it triggered such an emotional response in me. For those of you who do know or don't know, my, my brother passed away three years ago. I'm going on four soon, actually. Certain songs, certain smells, certain places, just certain things in life trigger me. And yeah, we were on the boat. I was having a great time. Like, turn up, turn up, turn up. All of a sudden, the song starts coming on. The song played. And I was trying so hard to, like, not cry. Because I'm, like, around a bunch of people. But I don't know. I just decided to kind of let it go. Because I'm like, if you can see me smile if you can see me and hear me laugh like you can see me cry too it's all a part of the human experience really i just started like boohoo crying <laughs> in the middle of the ocean um and i just allowed myself gave myself grace and there's this part of this book yeah, and this is untamed by glennon doyle and like how comes he comes he matches we don't control the turbulence or tragedy that happens to our families. The plot of our lives is largely out of our control. We decide only the response of the main character. We decide whether we will be the one who jumps ship or the one who stays in the room. And that was definitely something. Because I don't want to jump ship. Um, I still want to live my life. It's so sad. Whether it's a coin, it's just moments in life that remind you. I used to be so afraid of grief. Because like my brother was the first person I ever like really lost. Like I lost other people in my life before, but he was the first person that I lost where it's like, yo, my whole world has now turned upside down on its head. Now I realize that I feel grief so immensely because I love him so immensely. I loved his humanly vessel so immensely and I still love his his spirit, his soul and who he is. We just have to allow ourselves to feel all the things in this human experience. It's what makes the experience. I had a good cry. I let it out. And I felt better. Maybe like twenty minutes later, but I just had to like allow myself just to feel like girl, it's okay to be sad right now. Like I you know, you don't have to hide your emotions and your feelings and try to bury them. It's duality. Like I'm here in the Dominican Republic from my friend's wedding. Um, and I'm so happy for her. And at the same time, I feel sad because I miss my brother. And there's nothing I can do about it. I can only control the main character of my life, which is me and my response. And I've definitely learned how to respond to it better. There have been multiple times when like, I did not have the best coping mechanism <laughs> or like I would have outburst because of being sad. I'm just angry and Lord forgive me but questioning God like why how it just doesn't make sense <sighs> so yeah we pray that you allow yourself just the space to feel know that all of your emotions are okay and make room for them make space for them love on them grief is grief is something and it hits you when you least expect it and even through that, you will be okay. I think me being an emotional mama is what makes me me. It's one of my superpowers, if you will. I'm about to go back in the water. I was like sitting kind of like, kind of like over in this area, sitting over there and just like reading my book in the water, which is so cool. Also, I wanted to say if you did listen to, stick around and listen to me just chat, chat, trauma down to YouTube. Thank you for receiving what I had to say. Thank you for making the space for me to just chat for me to listen. Because honestly, it's like right now, although I'm not talking directly to a person, I'm just literally sitting on the beach talking to my phone. Um, it feels good to get out and just say out loud. So I'll tune in a little bit. Bye. Hello, we're about to start getting ready for the wedding. It's 4.03 and we need to be there by 5:15, but trying to leave a little bit early a little on time yesterday we went on the boat we got here a couple days ago did the all-white party then yesterday we went 
on the sunset boat cruise which was gorgeous and then we just like kind of were bouncing around playing games and then i went to my first silent party yesterday i've never been to a silent party and it was actually so much fun it was in the lobby so it was just like a silent like party over to the side vibes i want to go to like a real one now like a full out party this is my outfit i have this first these shoes I don't know if you're going to see. That's all I'm wearing. Going to the wedding. And talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Yay! Y'all, it has been a, a hassle. I have not been able to vlog with this camera, but it is the last day. Bless you, babe. In the lobby. I know you really can't see nothing. But we're about to get breakfast right now. This trip was everything and more. It was so happy just to be here and to just see black love, a black union, just so much. It just was a beautiful time. The weather was on and off, but it didn't matter. Like it did not rain on the parade, okay? And it's just such an honor. Like my my friend who got married, we actually were roommates when we first moved to the DMV area and we were like 23 years old just two 23 year old girls thinking they were doing their big one well we were doing our big one we were doing our big one went through a lot of those like am I grown now I guess I'm grown now type of situations started working thank you so much for watching and I will see you in next video adios oh also speaking of adios I was really talking in Spanish this trip like Duolingo today makes my 25th day straight and I have been putting in work and I was able to use some of the words that um, I learned in Duolingo here and I felt so excited like I was actually very excited about that so yeah if you if you've been like questioning if you should start Duolingo I think you should even if it's just like a couple minutes a day just like a couple sessions or even just one of the um the lessons a day it'll be really beneficial because I hablo un poquito espanol todos los días y yo practico todos los días um, espanol porque um, estoy tratando de aprender but with that being said I will see you in the next video Hi. Back with one more thing. If you haven't picked this book up or read this book, Untamed, Untamed by Glennon Doyle, you should. This book is so good. It's this woman telling her story just in a, such a delightful and colorful way, in such a real way, and she just shares such raw emotions. And yeah, I've been tearing through this book during this vacation, so I definitely urge you to get this book. I feel like we should start sharing some books and whatnot we're reading. So let me know what book you're reading and down below, and I'll see you next time yet again.